Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I thought it'd be a lot of fun to declutter my Sephora loves list. I did a video like this about a year ago, and I haven't really cleaned it out since, and I went back in on this, the website last night, and I was about to start just taking things off, and I'm like, you know what? let's wait and actually film it. That way I can explain how I use my loves list because it's not just stuff that I've already like bought and purchased and liked and want to keep an eye on. It's also stuff I'm thinking about trying. It's, it's a bunch of random stuff. So I thought it'd be fun to go through each product and actually kind of talk about it before, either before I add more or before I take it away or leave it on the list. I wish I could sort by oldest added because I kind of want to go through my oldest first but so let's scroll all the way down oh I actually already did it look at this okay so this is the one thing I keep on my Sephora loves list this is a cuticle lab nail treatment set honestly 45 is way too much for it <laughs> I think this is one of the first things I ever bought from Sephora because a few years ago my nails and my skin were just horrible Horrible as in I had super dry skin. I never really exfoliated. Back in high school, my hands used to get so dry that the skin on my knuckles would like split and like bleed. It, it was gross, okay? <laughs> so that's kind of what I was dealing with back then. Um, and I never really took care of my nails. I never did my nails. At my last job, the one before I have right now, I really couldn't keep my nails looking nice because I had to deal with a lot of books. I was stocking books. I was opening up boxes. I was shipping things out. It was... It was nuts. So this is one of the first things that I bought for my nails and it comes with a like cuticle moisturizer. I think that's what it is. A cuticle remover, um, a cuticle oil, and then a cuticle tool. I bought two of these and I always bought them when they were on sale since that last one. That was over a year ago that I bought the last one. I definitely don't need this anymore, mainly because I've actually started buying the big bottles of both cuticle remover and cuticle oil from Sally Beauty. You can get them for less than five dollars and what I do is I keep the bottles. I still have these little bottles and I just refill them now using the bottles from Sally Beauty and it's a lot more affordable and it just works a lot better for me. So that can go away. I still want to keep this on my list because I love Marc Jacobs minis. Um, this is a mini lipstick and a mini lip gloss. I've actually recently been reaching a lot for my mini lip gloss in Sugar Sugar. It's a beautiful nude gloss, so I'm going to keep that on. Not sure when I'm going to buy it or if I'm going to buy it, but I'm going to keep it on there. Same up here, there's that four-piece mini lip gloss collection. I really like the Marc Jacobs lip gloss formula, but I haven't tried any of like the deeper colors. I've always stayed with the like nude shades. So kind of want to keep that on there as well. I think I'm going to get rid of one of these Armani foundations. These are both foundations I tried in my Bite Size Reviews series, little samples of and loved, but I don't think I need to keep both of them on here to stay. This one comes in a mini, the Luminous Silk Foundation. The mini is still $42, which is nuts. But at least if you get it from Sephora, you can still return it. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to take off this Power Fabric one and just keep my eye because I also did the best to shade match me. So I'm probably going to be around color four in either one of those, but I'll keep the mini on here. Don't think I would buy it anytime soon. I kind of want to actually go into a store and get a sample of it, like a bigger sample of it, uh, but we'll see. So I'll keep that one on. This too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation is probably like one of my holy grail foundations. Once upon a time, I would have said it was my favorite foundation, but then I found some amazing affordable foundations that knocked it off the pedestal, but it's still an awesome foundation, especially during the summer because it stays matte and it's transfer proof. So I have this on here in the shade that I bought it in, Warm Nude, because that was my perfect summer shade. So what I'm going to do is keep this on here and I'm probably going to buy it once we hit the summer because I really don't have any super matte foundations in my collection right now. Um, and I'm working through all of my more like dewy foundations. So that's why I keep it on here because I love that foundation and that's the shade that I bought it in. Next, I have this acne treatment mask from Sunday Riley. I actually still have some. I have a mini bottle of this and I still have some in it. I loved this because this was like the quickest way to get rid of like a big 
kind of painful breakout whenever I got one. I used it as an overnight treatment. What I would do is just dab a little bit of this onto the spot and then in the morning it'd be mostly gone. But I'm steering away from Sunday Riley, A because they're just really expensive and B <laughs> because of the whole thing that went down with them faking their own reviews on websites. I think that's pretty just sketchy. So I'll use what I have left of that bottle and I'm probably not gonna buy it again because the uh, fingers crossed, knock on wood. I've actually been doing really good with my skin and don't really need a treatment like this. Next, I have a conditioner from Bri Briogeo and I think I'm gonna get rid of this too because I don't think a cooling conditioner is what I need for my scalp. I was kind of looking for a um, shampoo, but there's actually another product I think from Briogeo that's further up here that I really want to talk about. Nope. Oh yeah, it is. It's all the way up here at the top. So let's talk about... So I'm going to take that one off the list. Take that off. And then let's go up to the top because I don't know why it came all the way up here. So this is the Scalp Revival Charcoal and Tea Tree Scalp Treatment. I've been dealing a lot with itchy and dry scalp. I've actually gotten to a place where it's a lot better now, but I was looking for treatments and for things I could do for it. And I came across this and... I did research on reviews and I thought it was a little bit of a steep price so I just kind of added it to my loves list and was going to follow back up on it. The Tayla in her recent like fail video actually mentioned this product and how you use it and how it's sticky on your scalp and how it's like really uncomfortable and how your scalp just stays sticky and it's not like a put it in and then rinse out kind of product, it's a leave-in product. So because of her review, I really trust her reviews. Um, so I, I'm gonna remove this because I don't wanna try it out after hearing her experience with it. All right, down to this Volition Beauty Prismatic Luminizing Shield. It's just an SPF. Um, I, think, I think there was like a blip in the YouTube sphere where everyone was talking about this SPF and I was like, oh, I'll look into it. 35 is a lot for an SPF, so. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this highlighter from Rihanna. I really wanted that like mint shade over here, but I don't need it. Like I have so many highlighters and I don't even know if I'd be able to use it on my skin. And I have the um, the ABH Moonchild palette and that's basically one of the same shades. Yeah, so that's going. <laughs> do, do, do. Next I have the Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow just in the shade Vivid Jade. I have quite a few of these and I haven't used all of them yet. I'm trying to actually pan one right now, so I know I'm not going to get this anytime in the future and I have plenty of green shimmers and sparkles that I can use until then. I have the Diva Curl Build Up Buster and this is pretty expensive for a shampoo, but it just works the best that I've found so far. I'm not using it right now. I'm testing out another affordable shampoo, but it's already not working as great. So I'm going to keep this on here in case I want to go back and purchase it again. Let's jump from there up to this Hush Gunk Remover Kit. Basically, this is one of those brushes you use in the shower on your scalp to really like exfoliate your scalp. I found a lot of the... um like curly hair youtubers all recommended the same brush they all had a deal with the company and they all had codes but it was like a 40 dollar brush that you would get discounted down to 20 dollars. and i saw it on amazon and it was just a lot of money and this is a lot of money but i think this also came with a shampoo um but it's been out of stock for months so i think i'm just gonna remove this and probably just pick up a brush off of amazon back down to the bite beauty french press lip glosses i'm gonna get these at some point like i couldn't resist because they're called french presses and they're based off of coffee so they're also supposed to smell like coffee and their lip glosses and i want them ah so that that's gonna happen at some point <laughs> This is a like perfume set. I have not been able to smell this yet. I want to smell this. <laughs> it's supposed to smell like book. <laughs> I love books. Used to work in a bookstore. I now work in publishing. I love books. So this is supposed to come with like a little perfume, a candle, and a body lotion. It's, it's like a sampler kit, so it's not as expensive as like a full size of the perfume would be. But it's expensive still, but I'm going to keep an eye on it because it is so... Oh, I just want to try it. I think the next time I have like a birthday or another holiday, I'm going to ask them to just get this for me because I really want to smell it. Next up, I have two Charlotte Tilbury products that I was really looking into getting because I, I still haven't tried Charlotte Tilbury. 
I haven't. Um, I don't think I need the blush. Um, I have too many blushes. Blushes last forever. They don't die. So I need to get rid of that. This is her green little quad. So if there was anything from Charlotte Tilbury that I would try out, it would be this quad. So I'm going to leave the quad on. Next, I have a mini mascara from Urban Decay, the perversion. I loved this mascara. Uh, I really don't need any mascaras right now. I've been doing fine with the samples I've been getting in my Bite Size Reviews series. So this is just kind of on here to remind me how much I liked. I actually think I have a mini of this in my basket still. So don't need to get it anytime soon, but I really did love that mascara. Moving up, I really wanted to try this from the Sephora collection, the Bright Future Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 25. It went on sale and now it's out of stock, so something tells me that it's just gone and they're not going to restock it. So I'm going to remove this. Next, I have a serum from The Ordinary that I actually just purchased and I'm testing out right now. This is the Caffeine Solution. Let's take a look. So this is a 5% caffeine solution that you're supposed to use to help with dark circles and puffiness. So I've actually been using this like right around my eyes and my forehead to help with my under eyes. And I've seen actually a little bit of a difference. I'm about a third of the way through the bottle and I like the way that it's been working for me. And look at that price. You can't argue with that price, can you? This is a part of my morning skincare routine. I use it every morning under my eyes, in the corner of my eyes, like where I'm eventually going to get crow's feet, and then in between my eyebrows and on my forehead. So that's definitely staying there. Once I finish my current bottle, I'll probably pick up two or three more just because it's easier than having to place an order every time you need one. Next, this is a hair tie that's actually really surprised me, the Invisibobble. Um, I actually bought like an off-brand version of this at TJ Maxx and they're awesome. And then I bought a pack of Invisibobbles from Sephora and they're seriously the best. They're just like a hair tie, but they're good for curly hair in that they don't really squish or ruin your curls. They don't pull out your hair. They're plastic. So is it plastic? Well, it's that kind of plastic material so that you can get them wet, but then they dry immediately. Like if you use a regular hair tie, you have to like wait overnight for it to dry if you get it wet. So I love using this uh, whenever I sleep at night, put my hair up on a pineapple, I use this. Whenever I deep condition my hair and I need to put it up underneath my hot head heat cap, I use this. They've, I've replaced everything in my collection with these. <laughs> if you're interested though, I think it's eight for two of these. I would just check out a local TJ Maxx or Target. They have them there too. You can get them for cheaper, but this was the first place that I saw it. So that's why it was on my loves list. Next, I have like this little mini set from Belief, the hydrators on the go. Uh, I kind of like the idea of like a mini try set. The price is not bad, but they're all going to be minis. I don't think I'm going to use this, so I'm going to remove that. Here from Milk Makeup, we have a mini of the Hydra Grip Primer. Now, I just picked out a mini sample in my Bite Size Review, so I'm going to go through that sample. And if I actually really liked it, I might get the mini. We'll see. That's expensive for a mini. <laughs> Uh, next, we have something I'm probably never gonna buy, but I can just look at. <laughs> this is one of my favorite high-end perfumes. I love how this smells. It's called Not a Perfume from Juliet Has a Gun. And oh my god, it's, it's, I can't even describe the smell. Let's see, how do they describe it? Minimalist, fresh, and clean fragrance. It's just, uh, it's, it's so pretty. <laughs> I love it. I always get a sample of this whenever I go into a store and they have it. I got one very like nice expensive perfume as a gift a year and a half, two, almost two years ago now. <laughs> um, and that was the Burberry uh, fragrance that I really like. That was the My Burberry Blush. I still have some of it. I rationed that out because it was so expensive and I love it so much. But if I were to get another one expensive luxury scent, it would be this one. I love this scent. <laughs> Next, we have two of the ABH Dip Brow Gels. I have these two on here because I don't know what color to get, and I kind of want to see them in store. So they're both black, but this is black hair with a warm undertone, and this is black hair with a cool undertone. And while I know my skin has a warm undertone, I have no idea which one of these would look better on me. <laughs> so I need to figure that out. This is another Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette. I think I saw someone use it in a tutorial and I was like, that's so pretty and then added it on here. But I know looking at this, I would never buy it for that price. So let's get rid of that. Next, we have the Diva Curl High Shine Multi Benefit Oil. This is like a brand new product from Diva Curl. And so everyone's been getting it in PR and talking about it. 
I don't think I need a hair oil thinking about it. I don't know if my hair texture is really right for that. So let me just take that right off. And then next I have two dry shampoos that actually Bianca Renee today suggested. And I always thought like if you kept your hair curly that you really couldn't use a dry shampoo because I'm so used to putting in a dry shampoo and then brushing it out, which you know if you have curly hair, you can't really brush out a dry shampoo. So she talked about how to use dry shampoo and which two she actually really liked. And I was like, whoa, that's awesome. So I really don't think I need both of these. I'm going to get rid of this one because the one that I'm really interested in is this detox one because she said that this actually helps like clear your scalp a bit. So I'm actually really interested in trying out that one. All right. And look, we have a nice freshly cleaned Sephora loves list. Hi guys, editing Monica here. I just wanted to go ahead and let you know that I've added one product to my loves list since this was filmed. And that product is the Natasha Denona Mini Bronze and Glow Cheek Duo. I'm really interested in trying this out and I just saw it available on the website. So I added it to my loves list. This has been getting some pretty bad reviews as far as deeper skin tones because while they have swatches of this on deeper complexions that make it look like it works, Anyone who's deeper than I think an NW40 or an NC40, it's not even worked at all for. So instead of just running out and buying it right away, I'm adding it to my loves list to keep an eye on it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know down below if you've cleaned out your loves list, if you use your loves list, what you use your list for. I definitely use my Sephora list a lot more than my Ulta list. I actually have no idea what's on my Ulta list, but if you want to see this for my Ulta one, just let me know down below. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.